Neil Battaglia, SaxStation.com. On February 15th, 2014, I made a video where I showed how to play the horn line in Stevie Wonder's Superstition. Since then, I've gotten some comments and suggestions about how to change it, and I've actually listened very carefully to that horn line. So in this new video, I'm going to show you how the horn line goes, and it should be pretty accurate. One of the things that I noticed was the way a lot of people play this horn line is with an extra note. It goes, ba ba da But in the original version, it goes, ba ba so you basically have a note and the same note repeated with some space in between. If you do play that extra note, I don't think it necessarily sounds bad and it might kind of make up for a missing guitar part or something like that. And it does help kind of line up the rhythm if you can't really place the timing exactly correctly. So basically in all the recordings I heard with Stevie Wonder, his horn section will play that note and the same note repeated with the space in between. And no one actually made that suggestion on the original video that I published. So that kind of makes me think that a lot of people play this variation of the line. So if you learn that variation, that's not surprising because I think a lot of people play it. But if you want to play it like the original, then I would play it the way that I'm going to show you how. One part of the line that I did see comments about more often was actually the trill. Some people would play it as a turn. Some people would trill between different notes. What I found when I listened carefully, and actually I saw this as a suggestion from a guitar player, was that for the trill, you go up a half step and back down. So it's not a whole step, it's a half step. A lot of times in music, when you have a trill, it'll go to the next note in the key. This is a little bit different because it goes up and down chromatically. Some people thought that that should be a turn instead of a trill. And honestly, it happens really quickly. You probably could play a turn and not too many people will notice. But I listened very carefully to the original recording and it is a fast trill. The notes of the horn line in Superstition follow the minor pentatonic scale, and I'll show you what that is in concert, for alto, and for tenor. The first note that you play is the root of the minor pentatonic scale, and you're going to play that once, with some space, and then again. As I was thinking about this horn line, I actually thought about the major pentatonic scale as well. And if you know your major scale, you can get to a major pentatonic scale by leaving out the fourth and the seventh. And if you play the notes of the major pentatonic scale, but you start on the last note of that scale, it becomes a minor pentatonic scale. You can also think about the minor pentatonic scale as having the root, the minor third, the fourth, the fifth, and the minor seventh. So basically the minor third and the minor seventh, and the fourth and the fifth. The minor pentatonic scale is similar to the blues scale, it just has one less note, so you don't have the tritone in it. Sometimes singers will want to change the key of songs, including this one, so you might have learned it in a different key. Here I'm going to show you the original key that Stevie Wonder played it in. I'm not going to go over it in this video, but sometimes the later parts with the horns are also simplified when bands play this song. Try playing the minor pentatonic scale for your horn for this line. The line is basically going to stick to that minor pentatonic scale, so those five notes, with the exception being the chromatic trill. 